Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 62 of C Sharp video series. In this session, we'll discuss about the rules to follow when creating partial classes. Before continuing with the session, I strongly recommend to watch part 61 of this video series where we have discussed the basics of partial classes in C Sharp. We know that a partial class is a class that is spread across two or more uh, physical files using the partial keyword. Now when we have these partial definitions of classes, we need to have the partial keyword on each of the definition of that partial class. Otherwise, we end up getting a compiler error. Let's look at that in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. I have a simple ASP.NET web application project here. Let's add a class file. Right click on the project, click add new item and I want to add a class file. Let's call this sample partial class 1. Okay, so that's the name of the file. Let's go ahead and add this file and let's call the class as sample partial class. So this is a partial class and let's add another class file. Right click on the project, add new item. And I'm going to call this sample partial class 2.cs. Click add, that should add another file. And let's call this, look at that, this is a partial class and the name of the class is sample partial class and this class is present in sample partial class 1.cs file and we have the same class here. Now I have to use this partial keyword on both of the on both the parts of the class okay so on both the parts we are using the partial keyword so now if I build this project it should build successfully without any errors but on the other hand if I remove the partial keyword here look at this for this class in one of the physical files you don't have the partial keyword but in the other physical file you have the partial keyword okay now let's try to compile and see what's gonna happen it will give a compiler error saying that missing partial modifier on the declaration of type sample partial class another partial declaration of this type exists and that makes sense because we have a class you know sample partial class which is a partial class but then in the other physical file you're saying this is not a partial class by not using partial keyword so it's not possible to create a class like this that's why we get a compiler error stating so so keep in mind all the parts spread across different physical files must use the partial keyword when you're creating a partial class. All the parts spread across different files must also have the same access modifiers and this is also very important to keep in mind. If we understand the basics of classes, understanding you know creating partial classes is pretty straightforward. Now we know that a class can have access modifiers. Classes can only have two types of access modifiers uh, internal and public. Private, protected and uh, protected internal cannot be used on a class. So if you are using an access modifier here we are using let's put the partial keyword here so that we don't get the compiler error anymore. Now if you look at this on sample partial class 1.cs file the access modifier is public. Now let's change the access modifier in sample partial class 2.cs to maybe internal okay now look at this you have a class called sample partial class it's a partial class and here you are saying the access modifier is internal and in this physical file you are saying it is public okay so now which access modifier should the compiler use it doesn't really make sense right so that's why we get a compiler error when we try to build this project so it throws an error saying that uh, partial declarations of the sample partial class have conflicting access modifiers at one place you're saying public, in the other file you're saying internal, so it's conflicting with each other. That's why you have to use the same access modifier, either public or internal, on both the physical files. Okay, now if we build this control shift B, on the status bar you can see build succeeded. So all the parts spread across different physical files must have the same access modifiers. If any of the parts are declared abstract, then the entire type is considered abstract. Okay, that also makes sense. Now, for example, let's say I'm saying, okay, this on in this sample partial class 1.cs, on this physical file, I'm saying, okay, this is an abstract class. 
okay but okay we have to specify partial just before the class okay so this is an abstract you're specifying okay sample partial class is an abstract partial class now I haven't specified abstract class here abstract keyword on sample partial class 2 dot CS physical file but still this class will be treated as an abstract class if you try to create an instance of this class you know you will get a compiler error now look at this if any of the parts are declared abstract then the entire type is considered abstract okay so since we have specified abstract in uh, sample partial class 1.cs physical file this class is going to be an abstract class so if we try to create an instance of that sample partial class we will get an error let's say uh, obj look at that I will not be able to do that let's see what happens if we try to create an instance of that let me build the solution look at that cannot create an instance of the abstract class but on the other hand if I comment that and build the solution build succeeded okay so if any of the parts are declared abstract then the entire type is considered abstract if any of the parts are declared sealed then the entire type is considered sealed again if you just specify okay my class is going to be sealed class then it's enough if you just specify it on one of the um, class partial classes then the entire type will become a sealed class meaning this class cannot act as a base class for any other class okay so if I build it now control shift B to build the project build succeeded now if I try to use this as a base class for some other class let's say I'm creating a class here let's call it public class let's call the class a sample and if I try to use the sample partial class as the base class for this class remember that we have marked the sample partial class as a sealed class meaning you cannot use that as a base class for any other class now if I try to build the project look at that what's going to happen let's build this right click and build we will get in a compiler error saying that cannot derived cannot derive from sealed type sample partial class so if any of the parts are declared sealed then the entire type is considered sealed if any of the parts inherit a class then the entire type inherits that class for example let's say I have you know the sample class for example and then this has got a sample method let's say public void maybe get data method so that's present in the sample class and let's say we have the sample partial class and the sample partial class is inheriting from that sample class okay now if I go to the web form look at that since this partial class that is present in sample partial class 1.cs physical file is inheriting from sample class this class will also automatically inherit from that okay because essentially at the end of the day you know at the compile time both of these classes will be merged together and they're going to form one class so obviously when I try to create an instance of this partial class and then when I say obj dot I will get access to that get data method which means both of the parts will have access to that method in the sense here I can in this partial in the sample partial class 2.cs file I can still be able to access that sample class method if I want to okay C sharp does not support multiple class inheritance we know that uh, a class in C sharp cannot have more than one base class at the same time if you try to do that we get a compiler error so when it comes to partial classes different parts of the partial class must not specify different base classes okay so which means okay this is sample partial class 1.cs file here I am saying okay the base class for my partial class is sample but here in this file we haven't specified any base class so if I try to build this project it should build without any errors build succeeded on the status bar now let's say I have let's create another class here let's call this public class employee so we have 
an employee class here and let's say uh, for this partial definition of the class I'm saying it's inheriting from the employee class now if you look at this this version of the partial class is inheriting from employee and this part of the partial class is inheriting from sample so effectively you're saying your partial class is going to inherit from two classes at the same time so obviously when I try to build this we get a compiler error saying we cannot do that partial declarations of sample partial class must not specify different base classes and that makes sense because C sharp doesn't support multiple class inheritance okay so let's get rid of that and now if I build the solution Bill succeeded on the status bar different parts of the partial class can specify different base interfaces and the final type implements all of the interfaces listed by all of the partial declarations and that also makes sense for example let's say I have this partial class let's actually create um, two interfaces first so that we can inherit from them let's call this I employee for example and let's call this I customer interface and let's say this interface is having a method called void employee method and let's say I customer interface is having a method called uh, customer method okay now we have two physical files which has got the sample partial class let's say this sample partial class is in implementing I employee interface and this sample partial class is implementing I customer interface and if you remember if a class inherits from an interface then the class has to provide implementation for all the interface members now keeping in mind this is a partial class look at that one part of the partial class is implementing I employee interface and the other part of the sample partial class is implementing I customer interface now the net effect is the sample partial class is impl has to implement both the member both the interface members meaning they have to implement employee method as well as customer method now let's say you know this part of the sample partial class is implementing I employee uh, interface let's say void that's employee method okay right so it has implemented that method now let me build this project as you might expect we will get a compiler error now okay why because the sample partial class is implementing two interfaces one is I employee and the other one is I customer but if you look at this we only have implemented employee I employee interface method we haven't implemented I customer method that's why we get an error partial declaration of sample partial class must not specify different base classes uh, we are getting an error uh, okay these are interfaces so let's call them interface instead of class we should have done that first okay now let's build a solution okay that makes sense now look at that ADO demo dot sample partial class does not implement interface member I customer dot customer method we have already implemented the employee method but the sample partial class which is inheriting from I customer hasn't provided the implementation for the customer method that's present within this interface now we can implement that method either in this sample class I mean in this part of the partial class or you can do it here if you want to okay let's do it here for example and see if it works so public void and if you remember the name of the method is customer method so let's copy that and paste it here okay now let's compile the solution and see if it works build look at that build succeeded though they're spread across two physical files you know here this this part of the sample partial class is implementing I uh, is inheriting from I customer interface but then we provided the implementation for this interface method in the other physical file where we have the same partial class but still it works now I can take this if I want I can take this employee method from here 
look at that. This sample partial class is implementing I employee interface. But then in this version of the class, I don't have the I employee interface method implemented. I'm going to implement that here, but still it will work without any problem because the net effect here is the sample partial class is in implementing I customer and I employee interfaces. And if you look at both of these two physical files, they are providing the implementation for both the interface members. That's why we don't get a compiler error. It really doesn't care whether you have provided implementation in this file or in this file. At compile time, it's going to combine both of these classes. It checks, okay, this sample partial class is implementing I customer and I employee interfaces. So is it providing implementation for all the interface members? If the answer to that question is yes, the class will be successfully compiled without any issues. And that's what is happening at the moment. So different parts of the partial class can specify different base interfaces and the final type implements all of the interface listed interfaces listed by all of the partial declarations. Any members that are declared in a partial definition are available to all of the other parts of the partial class and that makes sense. For example, here, you know, this partial class is spread across two physical files. Let's say I have in this partial class maybe a public void, let's call this method one maybe. And let's copy the same thing and put that in the other physical file and I have another method here and let's call this method 2. So which means now this is single partial class at compile time we know that these partial classes will be merged into one class so obviously when I try to create an instance of this class you know and then I will be able to access method 1, method 2, employee method, customer method you know all these methods not only that this version of the partial class it can access you know the members that we have defined here and whereas this partial class can access members that are defined within this class okay so each partial classes can access members defined in the other parts so any members that are declared in a partial definition are available to all of the other parts of the partial class on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day